That's pretty good. Is this still scavenger? I don't know, I think I'm gonna be stuck on the loading screen. I think it, yeah it is, it's still good. Alright, I gotta restart the game. God damn, I got killed the moment I spawned. Alright, I'll wait for you to come back. I can tell this map's not going to be great for this. Are you loading or? Fat. Apparently not. Hmm. You want to just switch or something? Hold on, I'm think being stupid again. Oregon. Yeah. Good battle, uh, whichever way. We both suck. I wouldn't mind using Origin if it actually worked. I don't mind using it. I don't. A lot of the people would say it's like some spyware thing. It, it's not. I mean, whenever I download shit with it, I usually get like double the speed what I get from Steam, and it actually fucking works. It doesn't stop halfway like Steam does if I can account for the fact that they can't handle the load. I only have like one game that I bought on Origin, and that's Battlefield. Same, but I'm not gonna buy anything off of it. It's like, it seems a lot better at most of it, but I like that Origin's is trying. I think they stupid that they thought they could compete with fucking Steam, though. Yeah. Especially Every when they've already garnered a giant fan base, or not fan base. God damn. Everybody already hates EA. Yeah. So why do they think people are gonna want to buy their games from something that's exclusively EA? Exactly. Uh it doesn't help that they tend to overcharge for everything and just want fucking nothing but DLC and killing franchises. That and the whole, they support the LGBT kind of thing, I, I don't really give a shit. I don't think that's a big factor in fucking video games. Like that whole thing with like, Lita Sarkeesian or whatever. You're not enough to team up for tag you know what, it doesn't fucking sell. It's like you bought it Wait, what? This whole deal with, uh, this whole deal with, uh, not enough gender equality in video games. When Have I play violent war games, I don't expect to see too many broads sprinting across a fucking battlefield with a thousand pounds of guns strapped to them. <laughs> I just don't really care. If the game now, works, I it... wouldn't mind, like, if in Battlefield and Call of Duties or whatever, you could, like, switch gender or something, but... Who gives a shit who the main character is? It's like exactly. 
That's like saying there's too many male protagonists in books. <laughs> People care more about reading about dudes or playing video games as dudes. I don't, I just don't care flat out. If the game plays well and the story is pretty decent, it doesn't matter who the protagonist is as long as it fits. And then when there are females in video games, everyone gets mad because they show too much kids. Or, or they don't conform to how the average female looks, and then they get insulted. And then when the they girl's make it, way yeah. too hot. And then they make it not Fuck so. Video game. Yeah, it's like you can't have it both ways. To be honest, I just don't think they should be able to influence any of it. It's like with the. Uh, or CD project and how they make The Witcher, they don't give a fuck. They flat out will do whatever they want, and their games are pretty damn good. That's how it should be done. Because <laughs> this whole bullshit with, oh, there's not enough female protagonists, well, guess what? It doesn't sell. Who gives a fuck? I don't want to roleplay as some transgender metrosexual. I want to play as the guy in the story. Just make everybody robots. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fucking solves it. Where's all the girl robots? There's girl robots in Futurama. Fucking fembots. Uh, it's a lot of bull con a lot of uh, focus on something that does not matter. I'd rather I'm more interested in the fucking game working and playing right and being interesting rather than there being a fucking female protagonist of any kind. Because what's more important, the game actually well, working well and not being a rematch? Feminists rehash? have to have yes. something to bitch about at all times. It's like children. Wham, wham, wham until you get what you want. Yeah, if they start putting more female protagonists in video games, the next thing, they'll want more female lead roles in movies. Like, there should... It, why Iron Man? There's already people why like that. Why can't it be Iron Woman? Oh shit, what's that? No. Oh. Yeah, the other thing that's... Uh, the whole thing actually... It's like, there's not enough female developers. It's just... There's plenty of female developers in video games and shit. The thing is... I know! It's like, it doesn't fucking matter. Half the time, they don't even do anything. They do, or not do anything, but they don't come up with the ideas themselves. They get a producer who tells them, hey, work on this. This is how we want it, and that's what ends up doing. Yeah, there's female indie developers, and they do pretty well. There's actually a bunch of them. I just don't. I think we need more black female protagonists who are strong, <laughs> independent black women who don't need no man. Uh, I'm just tired of it all. I want better games that I don't really care if they're rehashed or not. I just want them to work well. Play well and have the multiplayer actually be interesting. This is like half the time developers just throw in the fucking multiplayer last second, but I don't give a shit. I'd rather it be like Metro Last Light where they think about adding a multiplayer within the next year or so. Not come out with it on release and then focus mostly on multiplayer. Or have a deadline that's reasonable enough where they can have enough time to develop all aspects of the game. Yeah. That's what I always liked about Bungie and shit. They just took their fucking time. Damn it! Goddamn spawn protection. That's alright, I fucking shipped him in the uh, chest. Because, I mean, every three years they pump out a new game. They didn't have a deadline for it. They just took the time to make it, and when they finished, they announced when they were done. Of course, that all changed once I lost the uh, IP for Halo. And now 343 3 Industries is working on it. I can't wait for the real Duke Nukem Forever to come out. When is that? It By probably who? never. I just refuse to believe that the disappointment that came out the other year was what actually Duke Nukem Forever is. Yeah, but I mean, you gotta look at it from another light. They did go through a lot of development changes, new technology, different de 
uh, management and all kinds of different shit. So I mean, yeah, it's it amazing. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing it even came out to be honest. But I'd rather it didn't come out. I mean, there's probably fan-made shit that's better. Like, it was on Steam for like five bucks a month after it came out. <laughs> oh shit, I'm going That's day. how bad it was. Yeah, I'm getting fucking kills left and right. I've gotten like three kills with a fucking bow and arrow already. Uh, I really need to learn how to use fucking Doom editor because I really want to create Marathon Doom for the most part. I think that'd be pretty cool. Now what I'd be fine with is if they just came out with a new Duke Nukem game. As long as it was nothing like Duke Nukem forever. To be honest, I just want more games to come out with modding tool. A lot more, a lot better. Like fucking Battlefield, for example. They like to come say, "Oh, it's very complicated and requires several tools to use." Who gives a shit? Just show us and give us the permission to actually create our own shit and let the modders take over. Because more than likely, they'll find a way to do it anyway. But it's pretty easy to find out why they don't want us to. after all, if we can make our own content, who's gonna buy the fucking DLC packs and some shit? Look at armor, look at armor, there's so much shit you can do in it. And tons of goddamn mods that people have made. In armor 2, even though armor 3 is technically in beta, and or alpha or whatever and out. Everyone's still fucking playing armor too. I hate how these days you have to pay for beta access and stuff. Yeah. It's like the Kickstarter shit. Beta access the alpha. Well, what if the game never ends up coming out? Then you just waste all the money. Yeah. Exactly. There's, I just hate the idea of funding the uh, development. I'd rather just buy the game on the lead. With everything intact, not this I want to try an Oculus Rift. I do too, but I'd just want to wait for the consumer version out. The developer version apparently sucks. It's like 1280 by 720 for the entire thing, and the final's going to be 1080. If it's priced like around one or two hundred bucks, somewhere around there, it's probably be perfect. But if they want like three hundred bucks, for like it, if it's it was the price much. of a decent monitor, then that's reasonable. Yeah, I'd say like two hundred probably. Be Someone up on that balcony above. Oh, fuck. Boobs. Vagina boobs. Завели булками, барышня, вперед, я сказал! Атакуем цель! Атакуем эту цель! Внимание, цель наша, прием! That and a lot of the cosmetic bullshit, DLC kind of crap. I hate launch day DLC. That too. And that and fucking pre-order specific DLC kind of shit, like with GameStop. Because yeah. half the time it's not even worth, not even any interesting kind of shit. It's just like, Come pre-order this game right now and we'll give you this new cool thing. Like with the uh, Deus Ex Revolution, 
they had some pre-order deal where it's like this explosive mission pack. It's like a, a fucking building you go into in the sewers that takes maybe five minutes to do. And what do you get out of it? A grenade launcher that sucks half. Sucks ass. Sucks hat. So, yeah. It's like, what, what's the fucking point? I would rather it just be included in the game or not at all. Yes. I'm so glad I don't buy from there anymore. GameStop? Yeah. Amazon's cheaper and just less bullshit. I was just eBay. Yeah, that's probably a good idea too. The only reason I like Amazon is they get the free uh, two-day shipping with everything. And with my student membership, I get that uh, high membership cap off. Somehow I managed to get a free month of Prime twice. Hmm. Like I did well, it once, and then a few months later I went and it let me do it again. Sometimes they have promotions to see if people want to buy it or not. I think that's how I ended up getting it once. I don't think I'll ever pay for Prime, because I never use Amazon early. I do, pretty much all the time. My mom does. She probably buys like 20, 30 things a month off of it. That's a lot of things. Yeah. But when you add up the cost of the shipping, it does pay off. Yeah. Well, on eBay, I get free shipping most of the time anyway. It yeah. might not be two-day shipping, but it's still free. Yeah. But, I don't know. It, it's a lot easier to trust sellers on Amazon for the most part, because if they fuck up, you can submit a bad review. And I've had people buying, like, you should I think I bought the Halo 3 Collector's Edition at one point from someone, and it got stolen out of my mailbox. Or not stolen, no, it was stolen at the post office, actually. Some asshole ripped open the package and actually stole what was inside. And I contacted them, and they sorted it out within like a week, and I got all my money back. I didn't even, all I had to do was send them a photo, and that was it. That, that pissed me off, because the fucking thing was in perfect condition, except for like a dent on the inside. I got one, uh... One game, I can't remember what it was, I got it on eBay, and it, it didn't work, because it was used, and it, I, I don't know why, but it just didn't work. I sent the dude an email, like, bro, it doesn't work, and he just paypal me my money back. Oh, nice. And then, if they're not willing to work with you, you can submit a ticket to eBay or PayPal or both, and then they'll figure it out. I've always heard stories that usually takes for fucking ever, though. I don't know. I've never had to do it except that one time. I've heard there's actually a lot of people who scam shit, like they'll uh, do a chargeback or something after they get their product and claim it doesn't work, and they won't ever send it back, but they'll get their money back somehow. That's why most, I never... Most people won't give you your money back unless you send it back to them. That's why I never ever submit a review of anything unless, especially if I sell something, um, until I know for a fact that they've gotten it. I never leave feedback on eBay till I get my thing and I make sure it works. That's how sellers need to operate too. It's like, what if the dude ends up fucking you over? Why would you submit a good review? Because <laughs> you got no other way of telling other people that you're a shitty buyer. Oh, I had to open a ticket once on eBay because uh, the guy didn't accept PayPal. He only accepted some other weird thing you do credit cards through. I mm -hmm. sent him, or I submitted a ticket saying, it's like, yo, I don't have that and I don't want to set it up. And he's like, okay. And he just canceled everything and we were good to go. That's nice. Still got positive feedback and all that cool stuff. I'm going to go to a different server. All right. Check my eBay, see where my microphone is. And my new snare drum. It better not be in China. It's originating in Texas. It's got to go all the way to China for some reason.
Except there has been a couple times with UPS when it like goes somewhere completely different and says out for delivery. I fucking hate UPS so much. Yeah, this is so shipped much. with. It, oh, it's in Louisiana right now. I've ordered like less than ten dollar items before, and they insist on getting a signature from me, and it just it, it aggravates me because it used to be I could tell them, "Hey, you leave a." Leave it on the doorstep. I left my note and signature. It's perfectly fine. I don't really give a shit if it's stolen. And it's like, no, we have to get your fucking signature. So I end up having to go all the way into Savannah to the UPS thing and actually pick it up myself after three days. I've like, never had to <laughs> sign for a UPS thing. It, they have to do it every fucking time for me. No matter what I get, they have to. I have to sign for it. Unless it's like some thing they can fit in the post office box aggravates. That's why I like FedEx and US Post Mail so much. FedEx will deliver on fucking Saturdays and I think Sundays as well. And they act they don't care if I have to sign it or not. They just leave it at the door if I leave a note. Man, it's happened way too many times with UPS for me to count. Oh yeah, server. Yep. Yeah, I need more hard drives. I checked my uh, server's disk space available today and apparently I had over 137 gigabytes of backups for Minecraft servers. Backup. Yeah. Oh. It's like, because apparently every day in the morning it takes another backup, and because the world's like one or two gigabytes or something, it's been doing that for like a solid two months. Why blurby? Which move? Apparently, I'm starting out on Gunmaster with the Rex. Mm -hmm. Are you joining my server? Yeah, it's still loading. Or I think it just. I think it is. There it is. I don't even know if we're on the same thing. We're not. Go figure. Now it can murder you. Like I've wanted to do since second grade. It actually plays out nice with only like 16 people, I think. Yeah, I like small Gunmaster games. Because the bigger one just ends up being bullshit. Gotta make sure I click my auto deploy so I don't have to click deploy. Goddamn plant. I don't remember this ever starting out with the Rex before, though. I think the server has it, so it starts out on the Rex. Oh. Skip all those like boring baby guns. <laughs> that every time I find someone, I end up having to scratch my arm to die.
Finally. Can't hit nobody. Не вижу огня в заднице, бегом! Пошел! Пошли! How did I not get the fucking kill for that? That's what I wanted to get like half assists, even though I'm the only fucking dude shooting at him. God damn it. I wish well placed shots to the chest would murder people in one hit. I'm eating the goddamn mag. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I am too. Well, not anymore. I have a shotgun now. Fuck you. I still gotta get another kill. What? Point ball sack brain and fucking didn't kill him. Ooh, this bad. Oh, come on! Why didn't you fucking fire? I hate this fucking gun so much. Which gun? Jackhammer? I'm using the jackhammer right now, too. Absolutely hate it. It's only good for killing, like, one person at max. Wait, isn't it usually frag round jackhammer? Yeah. Why ain't it frag round right now? I probably can change it. Usually you don't get it in the end. I think it's closed right now. Mm. Yeah, you d usually don't get it in the end, though. One There's of the C4 to get on this one. Now, this is just regular <laughs> goddamn shotgun. That fucking pisses me off. Yeah, I guess you can change what weapons you use. Or the server uses, because. Usually there's not C4, but there's C4 on there. Where's all the dudes? Oh, come on! Apparently bullets just go straight through people when you're poking the gun right in their face. <laughs> And Go apparently figure. my first kill with the jackhammer didn't count. <laughs> this gun sucks. Damn it. Yeah, it does. So does the Tamaz. I'm glad I never ended up using it. I tried to use it, but it sucked so much, so I stopped. It doesn't help that they oh, reduce the play. One shell will hit that guy from a million feet and almost kill him. The next four don't hit him at all. Die, bitch. I think I'm like halfway up the ladder. I'm really tired of the Pinky no kills. I already passed it. Because you're a faggot. Damn it, I should have aimed now. I'm really tired of this, man. I can't hit people at all. I'll be right next to him, pointing my. Bullets right in their nose. No. <laughs> Finally! Should be much easier since you don't have to deal with the shotgun anymore. I'm on the AK 74M, and that's one of my best guns.
what the fuck is this? Who killed? <laughs> I got like four kills right there. I'm only a five away. I just killed both of y'all. Now I'm on the G3. I am on the G36. I remember this being good for a little while and then it started sucking. Fuck you. Now I'm on the famous. One of my least favorite guns. Ah, oh, so close to killing another dude. He had 1% health. Unbelievable. Disappointed! Flashlight for the M60, that's so useful. Lube. <laughs> oh, the whole lube claim is in here. I can't believe people are like the 100 level thing. That's a lot of time dedicated to one game. Uh oh. It's what Conquest it? now. Oh. I'm there leaving. There's not enough people. Oh. Damn. There's like 12 people in the server right now. I don't want to play that tiny ass game. Actually, I'm...